Hello there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to continue with our store items crud, okay? So if we click on add new account, you can see that it's going to forward slash create just like store items and it's trying to load up a view file called create.php. Now, we already, you know what I'm going to say here, right? We already have a create file in store items. Here it's here. So I'm going to save some time. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste into store accounts okay like so so if we refresh this page then here we are it's trying to load up uh, a form which is kind of nice but obviously we're getting lots of errors because there is no column called item title okay so let's fix all of this let's get it all working i'm going to open up the create file that's now in sorry wrong file that's now inside store accounts that create file okay the one in store accounts and um before i actually let me just check something here um right that's all fine actually i was going to change the tag but we, we really don't need to um let's see let's just see right what we'll do is where it says item title here i'm going to change this to say first name like this and I'm going to hit refresh and you'll see that the first field looks nice now the rest of it's a mess but at least we have a nice first name field here okay so that's a good start right um, now I'm going to copy all of this stuff let me just see um, I'm going to copy this here and then I'm going to open up store accounts and we're going to go to this auto gen thing again because this came in quite handy previously and i'm going to copy another for each thing paste in uh, we'll even paste in a little hr thing here if we need it now coming to think of it we probably don't need it so let me just take this out sorry sorry uh, making this up as i go along you know Right, so we've got some code here. Now, this is cool code. It generates a glorious uh, role for a form. So this is something that can definitely come in handy. I'm going to paste this in. And I think I'll get rid of all of this crazy spacing here, just for the moment. And I'm going to say um, var for variable equals and then single quotations and then something like that okay and then i'm gonna say echo html entities var and i'm just going to see what this produces i honestly i'm not sure what it's going to do but let's just have a look and see okay um let me just see for each query oh yeah of course don't worry about that don't worry about that Got a bit carried away there with the comments. Let's try again. Okay, that's not too bad. That's actually uh, starting to look kind of cool. If we do a couple of line breaks, you'll see that we are starting to get the beginnings of a usable form here. Okay, uh, something like that. Now that's kind of cool, would you agree? Isn't that kind of cool? I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's okay. Um, so in here, I'm going to add in the column name. So I'm just going to do this and do this. And we're going to say column name. And then up here, I'm going to say something like you see first. Whoops. Column name. You see first means uppercase first. So if we hit refresh, uh, you'll see that all of our information is now here and it's all looking fantastic. Now, let me just check something here because um, you can see that we have a new line after this control group thing here. So I might as well uh, respect the vibe and add. Shall we add a new line here? Ach, actually, who cares? You know what? Who cares? I'm just going to copy this. Yes, I am a crazy rock and roller. I'm only sh trying to show you folks ways 
that you can save some time, okay? So who cares? We'll just do that. And uh, we'll just um, paste in like so. And let's refresh. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, for the sake of being consistent, I might as well take this one out, okay? So, yes, it's all taken up a line, you know, it's a wee bit strange, but it does do the job, you have to admit, you know, it does do the job. So, we'll uh, space in a wee bit here, try and get it looking a bit more civilized. And, yep. That's actually not too bad at all. So I'm just going to sort some of the labels out here. So first name is two words. Last name. Yep. Uh, address. Let's go with line one. And then address. Line two. Uh, let's go with telephone number. Email. Now date made and password are special fields. They're not going to be on this form, okay? So I'm going to take those out and refresh and that's actually not too bad uh, there's something going on to do with big pick down here which we really don't need so i'll take that out hit refresh and there we go so this is actually starting to look not too bad uh, if we go to store accounts and then fetch data from post. We are not going to have date made and password here, so I'm going to take those out, okay? They are special fields that we'll talk about in just a moment. In the meantime, that actually looks not too bad. So all we have to do is a couple of tweaks and this page is going to be ready, okay? So uh, let's do a little find replace We'll look for item and we'll replace with account. Okay. And we'll hit refresh. And it says account details. This is actually not too bad at all. Uh, is there any mention of store items here? I wonder if there is. There is. Of course, there is. There we are. Store items all over the place. So let's change that as well to say store accounts. Okay. And that's pretty good. So, um, this is going to take us to forward slash submit. Uh, or is it? Is it? Who knows? I was sure that that was going to take us to forward slash submit, actually. Um, let me just check something. Create store items. No, takes us to create. My mistake. My mistake. Okay. So it takes us to forward slash create. You can see that the validation's working. So that's good, right? Everything's looking uh, kind of cool. I'm going to go into the store accounts controller. Let me tidy this up a bit. Okay. In fact, let me do more than just tidy it up. Let me take this out of action because we don't need it at this stage, right? That's fine. Um, so let's have a look at create and see what's happening. If we press cancel, it goes to store accounts manage. So there we go. That's good, right? Excellent. And if we press submit, it does some validation. It fetches data from post. And then it says the item details. We're going to change that to the account details. We're successfully updated and the account was successfully added and you know something that should actually be okay i think this might just work um so let's give this a try i'll just uh, go like this and uh, here we go i'll say david connolly um company and uh, some address one uh, some address to, I'll just say my town, my country, blah, 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 eh, blah, 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 and email is info at something.com. We'll do submit. Okay, not too bad. Now, you can see that we're running into a few 
challenges upstairs here. But let's not panic too much because look, we have store accounts uh, working. It has inserted the thing and that's actually not too bad. All we need to do is get date made working and then get rid of these errors here at the top and basically that will be the end of this video, right? Now this is going to be really, really easy because all we have to do is look at uh, submit and if we are creating a new record, if we are creating a new record, then date made is going to equal time. It's as simple as that, okay? Now, as far as the stuff at the top goes, well, let's just see. Um, we'll take this big pick thing out here and I'm going to change this to update password, I think. And we'll take these out. And we'll have the URL being store accounts, update, how about update underscore P word. Uh, and that should be that, okay? That should be that. If we hit refresh here, you can see that we only have one button here. And that's fine. I mean, we could have added a view account page, but I'm not going to bother. It's just a tutorial. And this is just for the admin panel. But that is actually not too bad, okay? In fact, do you know what I'm thinking? We've got an error on that page, but don't worry. It's nothing heavy. Uh, what I just realized is we should add a delete account button in here as well, okay? Uh, so that's going to go to delete conf. We definitely need to need to uh, confirm this, and I'll say delete, and then we'll say delete account, okay, and we'll hit refresh. Now hold on, but <laughs> sorry, sorry, danger. There we go. Delete account. Right. Excellent. 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 That's all fantastic. Um, so if we look at this page here, you'll see that it's running into all sorts of problems here. But you know what? Let's not get bothered with that just now. Let's just make sure that this date made thing works, okay? So I'm going to go uh, do add new account again. And I'll say uh, first name, John, last name, Rambo, companies that, address line one. Here we go. Okay and uh, something like that and the email uh, info at something else.com do submit okay so no errors everything's looking good and if we have a look on the table you'll see that date made is now working it's inserted as a unix timestamp okay so um the only thing now i'm going to copy this actually and i'm just manually going to whack this in here just for the moment we'll change one of the numbers okay excellent so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the manage accounts page here and i'm going to fix these errors that we have okay and we know why this is happening there's nothing strange uh, everything is perfectly under control it's looking at things like uh, status and all sorts of fields that we don't actually have okay so you'll see that there's an error on line 37 we'll just take that straight out um edit now it says edit item url i'm going to change that to edit account url okay um we've got view item url now i'm not going to build a view accounts page just now because i'm just not going to bother but I might as well change that, you know. Um, so we'll do that. We'll bring this up here. Uh, where we have item title, let us say first name. Where we have item price, let's say last name. Where we have was price, let's say company. And um, this status desk thing, I'm going to take... Ah, that was date created. Let me just come back to that in a minute. Um, edit account, right, I'm going to take that little label out here. And there we go. Hit refresh. 
Okay, so not too bad ish, not too bad. Now it's looking for uh, a status label, but we don't need to bother with any of this. I'm just going to say row date, or oh, sorry, date made it's called. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, pretty cool. We can go in and edit the account like so. Change it to Johnny Rambo. Account details were updated. Uh, as you can see, it says Johnny Rambo. Everything's cool. Date created looks rubbish, but we'll deal with that in another video. In the meantime, uh, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.